Hello. 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 Ah, that was a run today. I am energetic. Good. That's good. Ah. Good, good. That's good to hear. I really need you finishing up the bear. I really need to finish up art, and I'm tired of having loose ends. Yes, bear claws. I've got a little bit of a plan of attack to go with it. Nothing big. Nothing small. But I am going to do some fun stuff. Like, for the pads, I'm going to use an alternate brush. Like, I'm going to do it with something like that instead of just the normal one. Like, I'm going to do a base layer and then add that on top after I do the magic wand tool. I've got base coloration for eyes and what I'm going to try to do for the hair and fur for like... I'm not entirely sure on the dress. I'm thinking like maybe a brightish orange or pink or maybe a hunter green would actually fit her well. Not really sure, but I do know her skin will be a bit paler because she's from the north. Make sure to look up a reference that fits your art style. I mean, true. That's why I've got the flat color right here. Let me flat color. Because that's a bit better for that. And the hair will be a bit more interesting. For the toe beans. <laughs> like, let me show you what I'm planning for. Just in Well, let's see. Like that, but I don't have any beans planned. No, that's actually a good point. I'm the dumb. Bye. Uh, -do 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 -do. Bear pause. Let's see. Hmm. Of YouTubers like that. One thing remember is that the realistic reference is a one to one. Yeah, it's not a one to one, but I do want to add like a tiny, tiny bit of styling with the marker. No, it's not exactly a bad. The ref is questionable, it's not exactly a bad one. Probably something more like... That? Probably a bit more like that. That's at least a better reference than the realistic one. Let's see if there's any more. It is useful though, it is useful. I'm doing a lot of progress today on other things though. Got a whole bunch of chores done, got some other stuff done. All good, good, good. Um, yeah, all the references that I'm finding for some of stuff would be like minor detail, but I don't want to do minor details on it. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, I do want to get a couple of things. Like, I do need to adjust this little bit right here. Because it'd feel better if I added, like, a little something. Maybe not. Yeah. Not really. Anywho. Find something that works for me. I do like the, the paw prints. Right. I'm just trying to figure out, like, some... Like, I know for sure I'm going to make her eyes very, very creepy. <laughs> like, she'll have incredibly creepy eyes. In fact, I'm probably just gonna see how this looks.
Or just the pupils being giant and pissed. That is sincerely creepy, but I want it a bit darker. The kind of, I'm going to eat your soul eyes, but then she gives you a hug. Uh, I love some of this. I should touch up some... Um, let's go darker, maybe. And then... Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wait, that's on the line right here. Whoopsies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that! Like, just, I'm just gonna stare at you until you give me that hug. <laughs> I love it. Uh, what else? Um, if I do like a brighter color first and then go for a darker one. No, that looks like she's like vicious. Like more of a middle ground. Uh, like right here. Ooh. Hmm. I don't want eyes that are simple like that. I want, like, more of... <sighs> What's a good word for it? Not innocent but deadly, but innocent but in a sense that she's just... potentially rip you apart if you're lucky. Bug-eyed? Not bug-eyed. Bug-eyed is more like freaking My Little Pony-esque stuff, no. I might just do it flat, like... Uh... Intent. Yeah, killing intent, but it's like... It's just like resting bitch face like people have. It's just resting murder face. Even though the worst she'll get is just if you steal her snack, she'll want something back. I'm trying to get a good shape down. Hmm. Like, I know up there is good, but... Let's change. Is she going to be the shaded face meme? Oh my gosh. Let's go back up. Make her look menacing, but hugs. Yeah, that's the intent. Just like, what is she going to do to us? And then she just comes over and just hands you a cookie. <laughs> oh crap, I can't. Hold on a moment, I can solve that. Oh, that's why. Easy, and then we just go for a sort of not that, right? Eh, I don't know how long I'll be able to be here today. That's okay. As long as.
as you're here for a bit, that's a good. I'll take anything. A slight reflector. I've never really streamed myself doing. I'd like to watch that. Okay, now it looks like she's looking off. I think it's just fine like that, honestly. <gasps> she's just staring into your soul. <laughs> okay, let's do the tongue. Good girl. Just a quick little. Yeah, I remind me to give it a go sometime and I can actually talk. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love the eyes already. Uh you know, I feel like a nice like yellow heart would be good. Maybe I should give her pink. I do need to give her a locket some stuff. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think of good outfits for her because I don't want everyone to be paying attention, but I don't know if you want to do this one or this one or not. What is it? What's your suggestion? Oh, I think of what to do. Bum, bum. Mm. Try shading in Grail Scale first. Nah, not in this one. I might do it for Amudira first. Yeah, I'll probably do it for Amudira first. What's that theme? It's the phosphor theme from one shot, but it's faster than usual. I send you the link. <laughs> like, I know reason for doing grayscale is it's great for learning shading without the complexity of doing color at the same time. I'll probably do it for a later piece. I'm just trying to think of what's a good way to do something, maybe. Because there's a, quite a lot of ways I could tackle this. Like, I know the background, like I did for Zara, like, let me pull it up so people can see. Like I did it for Zara, I want it to be orangish, maybe, like a nice pumpkin orange or a sunset orange for Jerry. Because she's just bright, sunny, and colorful. Auto paint tool. I have no idea how to use that. That's another thing I need to learn. <laughs> um Like if I get the hair first, I'll probably be much better. Let's go to brown. This? Nah, I think she needs like a lighter brown. Maybe. Venus. Hello, Zen. How's your recipe hunting for New Horizons? Get that in the thing. I don't want to go too bright. Ooh! What's the December announcement? Oh, I will do that after I'm done with Sherry. 
I plan on doing a thing that I did a couple years in a row, but some other stuff. But I got a lot. Oh, really? What ones did you get? Like, don't tell me exactly what they are, but like, how many did you get extra other than the Nickling Junction and the uh, terminal ones? After five visits to Brewster, he gives you a Brewster cookie. Oh my gosh. I'm getting Brewster tomorrow. Oh no, heck no, heck no, that's... I don't think she's like a muted one. I'd say like seven, okay. You wanna hear about the ones that I got, or no? You just select the line art layer and then auto paint tool, then just paint a little swatch the color where the color goes, and you have all the closed objects marked when hit us green and Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> no. Um, orange hair is gonna be on uh, Chelsea and Casty. Like, Cast uh, Chelsea will have more of the orange, while Casty will be more pink. But Chelsea will have the orange, the pink tips. Like octopus. And we do need someone who's just like sort of normal ish for color. That might actually be good, but I'm gonna see like a bit or Like I like the sort of like faded brown, right? Like something around here maybe? BTS bears the normal one. <laughs> I mean, honestly, she is the most normal character. Her parents love her. She has an actual family. She can return home whenever she likes. She has a job she loves and not because she's forced into it by anything. She is basically the best for getting people to talk because she's the good cop. She's, like, the most normal character. <laughs> I love how she's just the TPSD bear. Honestly, you think Lorna's the most normal? I mean, she's undead, so... Lorna probably is the most normal, because she's just plain sweet. That's, like, they're different enough. When Lorna gets mad, she yells at you. When Sherry gets mad, she will likely rip you in half. Ironically, Sherry's pretty good at keeping her temper under control now. You know, that's actually not a bad one. That one's growing on me. We'll put a pin in that for now. Let's just, like, put a little... Oh, oops. Just put a little splotch of that so that I know that it works well. Uh... Maybe if we... See this one. Oh, not that. That is Elf. Hmm. Zara's probably pretty normal too. She's kind of normal. Like she's like middle ground. Uh all the characters are normal to a degree, but it's like everyone has their craziness. Okleo's Chuni. Abigail has a goddess complex. But then you just realize she just like booze <laughs> going up to crazy cheap diners when she's trying to be all prim and proper. Chelsea just wants to fit in someplace and not actually be able to use her magic. That's too. I do not like chestnut brown on her. Abigail, I realized last night, is a big Karen. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Maybe a faded orange like that? Let's see that. Yeah, Ecritique City is such a good song. Let's go a little bit more. I not like carrot orange. Like, let's go up a bit. Like, is this one good or is... This one good. Which 
Which side is the better one? The more faded one or the darker one? Left? Okay. Let's just... a little swatch of that. I do like the faded color. Let's just try a little bit more. Ooh. Maybe that one's a bit better, actually. You gotta make your arms match. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> ah! And I also have to make her fluff match whenever she's not wearing the dress bottom when she's wearing her skirt for work. Ugh. Let's try just something. And then... How's that look? I like it! I like it a lot, actually. I'll have to adjust a little bit, maybe, but this is good. Like, I'll probably want to make the ears a little bit, like, brighter, maybe, for the fluff. Like... Go a little bit more. But that's approaching flesh territory. Well, first things first, I do want... Actually, you know... Do her hair proper, so. Okay. Then. Feel a little bit red. You know, do the inner ears after the rest? Okay. Yeah, that way I have a grasp on everything. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I'm gonna go a tiny bit darker. Okay. There we go. A bit nice. a lot. Ooh. There we go. Just a spot by the cheek. Yep, that's what I'm doing next. Let's get my not to 1,000. <laughs> we are not going up to 1,000 right there. Why does the, like, the faded orange just fit her so well? Is it because the coloration is being bright, or what? the anime trope behind her fits I mean yeah it does mean I might need to change Chelsea's hair color what does blue mean for it actually I don't have anyone with blue hair which is a bit weird and concerning personally <laughs> like oh no I don't have anyone with blue hair Blue is the smart color or water. That would probably fit Amadira. Yeah, blue might be Amadira's color. Because she's more like snarky, smart aleck. She is smart, but she's not the smartest. Actually, 
should wait. Aclea has blue hair. Right, right. Aclea has like a very, very dark navy blue hair. The blue is sometimes ironically used for idiot because Cyrano throwing that term, didn't she? You honestly cannot imagine Amadou with any color other than pink. I can imagine her with like a dark pink, like a or a dark purple, because she does have that sort of the what's it called? The Ojo's on a quirk. Like I don't play with losers and stuff like that. I love that actually. That fits so well. That fits so dang well. I love it. Okay. Okay, let's. It's so good. Oh, no, that's weird. A bit brighter. He's a big old soft teddy bear. Purple's more nobility, royalty, pompous, mystique. Um. Steep. Hmm. Like, Rita's mom could be purple. Oh, for sure. Purple or white, I can see. Probably white because Powdered Wick and dyeing it. <laughs> Why does this work so dang well? I adore it. Seriously, she's grown on me quite a lot already. Okay, perfect. Purple litter is usually reserved more for personality. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. Like, it's a big thing in Doki Doki literature, for sure. Because you have the mystique on the purple world girl. And she's totally not Amadira. Um, um, let's see, eyebrow. I'm actually gonna work on the hands. I just realized I'm probably gonna have a tough time with it. Um, let's not and say that we did later. Pink has a direct symbolism with death. Is it just because Dang and Rampa? I'm- that's a legitimately the question I'm asking. Let's go a little bit dark. Oh, not there. Uh, tiny. Like, is that a good color for the eyebrows? That's an old anime trope. Oh, okay. And how's that explain Satori? Color. That and then the lashes. Now, do we just go full? <laughs> That's actually fairly interesting the way they look at it. That's really funny. I like it. I like it a lot. That's that's why Yuka has pink hair. Oh, okay. Explains it actually. Yeah. Wasn't white big on being like a supporter or someone that you can depend on? Because that explains Yomu, and that's why I gave Zara it then. White stands for purity. Yeah, that fits Zara. That fits Zara very, very well. explains Margaret Moonlight, too. From No More Heroes. Look at that bear! 
Or alternatively, purely corrupted. Okay. Um. Let's talk this because I'm trying to think like. Do I go with the same color? Um, do I do. I don't know. <laughs> You know, I did not make any white outlines for her eyes like I did for Zara here. Whoopsies. Just do that. That's why I wore it. Oh. Probably why I'm gonna make Osmond. Mm. Yeah, I done goofed. Whoops. I done goofed. Oh, sorry, you see an anime character with white hair, they're either old or very important. Makes sense. I done goofed. I didn't add the little bits for her eyes. Does she need them? You don't have to add them. I don't, right? I don't need them. I kinda wanna. I like it better without. She might be one of those characters like that where it's just better without. Uh, I might do the skin next because the only areas for the skin are right here. Happy home DLC just dropped for Animal Crossing. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. That'll be a fun one. So, you now can just do all the crazy stuff that they promised for the update. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Can you try orange or the, um, the arm fur? Like, just plain orange or the same with the... Like, I can try it on... The same as the ears? Like, the middle or the top? So, let me try the middle real quick. Do you mean the fluff or the paw part? Like, oh, not that. Oh, ooh, there's something there that should not be there. Weird, that's what it is. Anyway. Is it selecting everything? It's selecting everything for some reason. Like... Oh, that's a racer. Oh, that oh, wasn't. It was really selective. Like that? Yeah, this one has a leak somewhere where. Where is said leak? Seems to be on this side somewhere. Right up here. Up here. Hold on. Okay, come on. Oh, jeez, no! <laughs> Whoops! The heck? I just want to turn this. The darker one, probably. Okay. Just... 
take Danger Floof. There we go, leak is solved. I could always make it the same color as the eyebrows. Yeah, let me make it the same color as the eyebrows. Let's do that. It's probably a bit better. Or... Oh yeah, killer. That looks like poop. Okay, yeah. Same color as the eyebrows works well. Then we just make the paws the same color as our hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a bit silly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just imagining someone just being just whacked with a giant paw. <laughs> oh my gosh. Smack with the giant paw. Ugh. Like the pause, yeah. Actually, just to see, I'm curious. Yeah, no. Go <laughs> slightly darker. Yeah, too close to the other fluff. I'm gonna have to go shortly. Okay. Good input. Thank you so much. It really, really helps. Okay, yeah, I like the fluff like this. Oh my gosh, this is such a good idea, though, for the design. Maybe I make her dress actually green. Like a light lime green. Like, hold on a moment. Let's try... Like a grassy green. Like this. That actually works very well. I think I'm going in the right direction. Um, let's try. Ooh. That pops very nicely. Like, make the corset like a nice dark black, maybe, or a darker green with the ribbon. Ooh. And some yellow accents. That would be nice. That'd be nice. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going the right Ooh. Ooh. I kind of like the lighter one more. Look at that. That one's nice. Bum, bum, ba, dum, ba. For some reason you're imagining yellow? Let's try that. A f more faded yellow. Like more of a cream yellow or more like... Because then we can make green the accents. Like happy, sunny, sunshine, yellow. Maybe a little bit more yellowy yellow. Oop, not that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, just imagine her being this giant beacon of sunshine in the middle of the day. No, that's actually not bad for a yellow.
I like that. I like that a lot. Not bad, but I feel like I could be better, maybe. Like this? No, no, that's... Think, what does the other one have that makes... It's bright and shiny and summery. I don't want it to be, like, too bright. I don't want it to be, like, annoying to look at. Maybe red around the waist? Red would be nice. Maybe, like, an, uh, not orange, like, a good one. Yeah, I like that, too. Or yellow around the sleeves? No, it'd probably be a little. Yeah, to add a little bit of depth. Brighter yellow on the sleeves. There we go! That looks nice. Something bright red there around the waist? Like for the corset or like on the ribbon and everything? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm going to make the waist red for sure. <laughs> it's jam! A little bit darker. A bit color. Here. There we go. That's a sundress. At least the ribbon. Mm. Let's start with the red real quick. You know that that sort of rusty red. That rusty red. Hmm. No. I don't want like iron oxide. She needs like a red that screams danger, but more like. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that kind of does too. I like the idea of the corset being greenish, maybe. Let's try green real quick, because... Oh crap. Like... Like dark green? green and that yellow, but I don't know where to use it. Purple to match yet. Huh. Huh. Let's try that. Like, let's go for a slightly dark. Great. Ooh. I'm not doing it exactly for me yet, but I do like it. Yeah, that's a bit weird. I think the shoe should be purple. I don't like these shoes with purple, but like, eh. I don't feel like that's a good color. Hmm. I 
purple is decent. Yeah, but it's like, I don't feel like that's the best purple. Decent, but it's not the worst. If you change your switch to Australia, New Zealand, you will be able to play the Happy Home Designer a day early. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Let's save purple for the net. Hold on a moment. Might be onto something there. I love that. I love that downright. I adore it. That is beautiful. That is downright beautiful. Oh, that is good. That is good. That is really good. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not gonna lie there. I adore it. Can we just... Ooh, yes. Yes. Yes, that is good. That is real good. That is a nice coloration. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot for that. So, so far her main colors are oop, purple, brown, and orange and yellow. So, well, it's more like purple and brown and yellow. So, mmm... Um, Maybe the heart could be purple, too. Like... That's like a noxious purple. I like that. I do use the purple only for the laces, the corset. Okay. Hmm. We need a main color, though. I feel like the heart needs to change. I could just make it the same color as the thing. Here we go. That's that's nice. Are so good. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Skin tone will probably be a bit more faded. Oh my god, go for now, but you're doing very good. Thank you. Hope you have a nice day. Seeing you. In the meantime, I'm going to go over and just quick, like, go through the. What needs to be filled in and such to actually make it nicer. All congruent. Okay. green more. Marks here? Nope. The bear is nearly done. I missed a spot. Hmm. 
Ah, the perfect music for recovering the Baron. The bear! The cute bear that everyone seems to love. Because everyone is very fond of a bear. Bear. The bear is so very cute with a lot of warmth. I'm not even trying to match the song, and I just really sing it. <sighs> oh well, whatever. I still love what she is. She's a freaking blood knight, the PTSD bear. Every time she just comes out and just goes, cookie! Port salmon. Full dry salmon. Goes well with alcohol. But there could be other good treats. it a bit hmm let's try the skin no
No, that's too. All of you for. You're scrutinizing pixels that people would have noticed. Well, yeah, I. After you like zoom in and such, people will notice big time, and I don't want that to happen. Like I am very, very perfectionist with my work. <laughs> Ugh. Like right here, there's this little thing that I hate because it's like this little joint thing, and I try to make my lines look very, very smooth and nice to the biggest degree. Like I don't want. I uh, I don't actually. I don't actually keep that thing. Like you're a bit more white. There are people are. Nerd. I know, I know. But I want to make it look good. There we go. Looks better. Also, oh, sorry, a poop teeny, but that's okay. Yeah, it's more to make me feel happy and to make the art look good, 404. Um. Green for the lace, the corset. Mm. I'd say I wanted to work on skin. I like her pink. Her. She's not a polar bear, she's a Kodiak. But... Not too bad. I just realized this is Gudako. This is good, Arco. Dang it. <laughs> Wait a moment. Hold on. I might be onto something. Hold on. I might be onto something for color combos. Like... Go and cat's daughter, but that how does a how does a fox make a bear? <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, yeah, I am one hundred percent on to something though for the coloration. Hold on a moment. I'm on to something for the coloration. Like something like this? For the out- for like some of the purple bits? Fox make a cat scale up and make it bulk. There you go, bear. And I guess, but like if I use that purple on the fluff of the shoes. Oh ho ho ho! I might be onto something there. It looks a bit silly, but I like it. <laughs> um, let's see, um... Yeah, I'm basically just reversing the coloration, so if I just take that from the tie... ...and say do it on the clip... Hey, that looks okay. That's a good green to start off with, but... Like, what if we make it a bit dark? That's too great. Hmm. I feel like that doesn't jump. I go with the same yellow as the outfit. There's my mouse. There's my mouse. I did want to go with the silver necklace, but I feel like going with the sort of violet one. I just. Or if I go wood, like a brown. Mm. 
해줬어. Oh, geez, that went in the wrong direction. Ah. Okay, let's do the straps. Maybe the straps are green. Uh -huh. Like if I... straps. That does look nice. Very nice on the dress, actually. So, if it did... This. green as the accent more. That's good. Green accent. A random fact. Um, let's... Are there any bear facts available? Fairfax, Fairfax. Okay. So she wears a green bra or those parts of the dress? Part of the dress. Because the dress gives enough lift already. Uh, did you Kodiak bears were commercially hunted in the 1800s, and originally their pelts were only sold for 10 bucks. So imagine hunting a beaver, hunting down a bear, and this guy just strolls in with a beaver and goes, Here, here's the same price for your bear pelt. You're saying she wears no bra? No, doesn't. She has enough lift with the dress. She does when she's working, but this is just her casual attire. She does when she's working, so no worries there. Ooh. Ten bucks for killing one of them with the 1800s webs. I know, right? This guy just comes in with like 15 beavers and it's like, here, here's $150. Some guy comes in with a freaking Kodiak bear pelt. Here's $10 for your trouble. Imagine how just disgusted some people would be. Like, you just gave me $10 while this guy has $150 for 15 beavers. It's like, yeah? What is this, like, numbers game? Like, no, just bear. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I'm gonna make the ribbon, actually. There. Okay, that's bugging me. That's bugging me, too. Ah, oh, that's better. Wait, that's on the wrong layer. Ah, oh, better. Make the rimmery. I imagine that would be discouraged hunting a bit, plus it's a bear. I mean, here's the thing. My guess is that it led to the cattle rancher issues because they had plenty of issues with Kodiak bears after they were doing that. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. 
that. I like that a lot. Yeah, you pay a ton of money for an elephant rifle and six pencils to make sure it goes down in one and doesn't rip your head off with some um, other dude plinks some beavers with this shitty rat gun. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like, just imagine this guy just comes in with, like, a freaking boot pistol or something with the smallest caliber. And it's like, yeah, I got 15 beavers. What did you get? I got a bear. I nearly died. And it's like, okay, I'll give you 10 bucks for each of them. Like, for the beavers? It's like, yeah. I wonder what I'm gonna get for the bear. Here's ten dollars for the bear. <laughs> and here's the thing. If you are given a bear pelt, that thing is warm as heck. I wanna keep watching. Like, you're paying at least a full month's wages for being able to kill a bear. And you're supposed to only get $10 for a single bear. Which is downright insulting for one. But then there's also the factor of just everyone else getting all the bear stuff. I think a deer would actually sell for better. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are really good now that I like the green. Main difference between Helltaker and Ministry is that everyone is not going to kill you in 10 seconds if you don't satisfy their lust. This is really good! This is working very well. this. Ooh. A little bit brighter. Look at that! That looks lovely! Okay, um... I like a near-dark purple for the corset. No, it's too dark. Hmm. Maybe I go in the other direction and go for a lighter one. Like around here, maybe. No, like, grape seems more... Huh. Huh. Maybe. I do a little... She looks like a grape. <laughs> Freaking grape. Ugh. I kind of like the slightly faded grape color. I need a little bit dark. I like grape. That was too pink. Hmm. <laughs> I love how this is going so far, though. It just looks so nice. But I have that artist's dilemma of making things look good. Like 
freaking crocodile feet. Um, I always go for brown shoes. No, that looked dumb. Gold. Not buttery gold. A little tarnish. That's very, very bad. Like a lemon. I don't want to oversaturate her color palette. And she's all colorful and bright and sunny and shiny, fun, but it's just like, eh. Let's get the skin toned down. Um. Try getting these paws all good. So the pads are similar to the scene. Beans. Better. Yeah, I think that works. I like the inside of the ear. Um, let's go a bit brown. Yeah, beans. Go beans. There we go. Go beans are nice. Look at the beans! I think that's a good coloration for them. That's very, very nice, though. Very good beans. I'm just taunting someone because he likes bears. Um, what does everyone think? Because I'm trying to get, like, good, but for a variety of things. Like, I need to draw a lot of stuff, but then there's character. Um, skin tone's probably a good idea next, so let's actually try that, like, sort of very super duper. She and Rita would match, like, probably mind, but. All of these. Like, obscure pale? Do I go... Creepy? A bit creepy. Really creepy! Okay, let's not. Follow my heart. What is the creepiest art? <laughs> no, not Olive. I must follow my heart. How can I make this creepy bear? Hmm. I imagine she's pale because Kodiaks come from Alaska and stuff, though that might also make her look Scottish and Irish. That's actually not a bad idea. And yeah, she's from the north. So, she is freaking ginger. <laughs> of course she is. Rita's pale just because she's pale, but she's not like... Rita's more like porcelain white. Cherry is just, if you let her stand in the sun, she looks tan. I... Okay, kind of. Was that a good one? That good? 
not really noticeable above the light, but she's definitely pale. Definitely has that air of pale around her. Hmm. What if we go just... Oh. I think that might do it. It's fairly normal. Not like anything crazy is going on with her. Like, hold on, let me open a burrito and actually. Oh, pale. I know I made her like super duper pale. Yeah, Rita is like pink, while Sherry's more like not a little texture. Okay, yeah, I like that. Do this. Got a bear to color. I'll do details in a bit. Sherry is immune to mental old stuff because she has no soul. <laughs> She's immune to mental ailments, but is it just because she has no soul? Is that it? Ah, your magic has no effect on me. Why? Because you trained your life? No, I have no soul. <laughs> Poor thing. Which is funny, because she's traveling with a musician. Okay, yeah, that skin tone actually works. I like that, I like that. About right. No soul, only honey. <laughs> there's no soul here, there's only soup. She does snack on potato chips a lot, that actually explains a bit. <laughs> well, get out of the soup aisle! Right, you don't have to shout at me! I can just make Chelsea a bit tan. That looks about right. Okay. Good. I have the official Irish seal of approval. The pale bear. Isn't that like an enemy in something? No wait, it's a thing in wildlife, right? The pale bear, aka the bear of spiders. Are you swapping the yellow and green? She looks super Irish. Oh my gosh, she would. <laughs> this would be incredibly Irish. Oh, I forgot to color this bit entirely. There we go. It's a pale bear. Is dark green in Ireland and is generally associated with Irish stuff? Yeah, it is. It's 
darker for right here. Is there music playing? Oh, there is, yeah. Just super duper quiet. There we go. That looks seriously good. Like, I'm not even joking. That looks good. Okay, I like it so far. So far, so good. I will need to do the claws real quick. So they're actually 100% filled in. Because Hurdle likes to do this one thing when it saves PNG. It's just, just gotta. That is weird. What the heck is going on? Are you seeing this too? Takes care of her claws. They're still like a little dark. Like a leathery brown color. Yeah. Oh, that just leaves the shoes and the corset and the necklace. Right, right. And these little deep here that I missed. Dark. There we go. Okay, next leaves this. I want to get the corset and stuff done first. Hmm. Hmm. Do I just make the corset itself green? No, that's too much green. Look at purple for it. I just make her like grape, pink brown. That brown. Maybe it matches her. Seamless, what if I That's actually fairly good. If we that good? Hmm. That actually seems like it'd be a good color for the necklace. No, I yeah, like a nice, like, brass necklace. That'd be cool. Let's go. Get more brass. The copper brassy necklace.
Because blue, uh, purple and orange always go well together. Brass necklace. Yes, okay. Brass necklace. This is a good color. Old pendant. We go that's not too bad not too bad indeed because it still goes with the dress for the yellow a little bit okay um um hmm. Hmm. just leaves the shoes in the corset hmm. Actually coming out really nicely. I'm just gonna take a moment. Think funk funk. Think funk funk. Think funk. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I don't wanna add any other colors. Thing. Whoops. Mm. I don't want to make the shoes purple. And again, I have a look here. Smells good. We might be having a barbecue. I need my water, huh? Much better. Much, much better. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. A dumb idea. I make the ribbon green, uh, purple, and then I go for green on the shoes and stuff. Uh... Darker. Let's just see this at first. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's go dark. 
Ooh. Ooh. That's looking. Like barely black, barely purple. I think that's good for the corset. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, that downright is scary. Okay, hold on. I need to. Adjust. <laughs> oh, that is creepy. I honestly love that so much. I might change your eye color. Hold on. Oh, pause it. I really like that. I'm debating on some stuff. Sorry, I just smacked the mic and still. Okay, hold on. I need to think a moment because making it darker is really eye catching. Like she's going to just irk someone if she is allowed to at this rate. <laughs> but she does often, now I realize. I need a good middle ground. Okay, I love the boots. I love the boots. The boots are coming out nice. Then we just go even brighter for the... Right here, the soles. Those three. Like, these are the weirdest snowshoes ever. I mean, she dresses weirdly already, but still, it's just so unnerving for the grape shoes. I think she'd call them that, like, the grapevine shoes. Love it! I love it! And then we go even brighter. Like, we're gonna go near white for this. Right around. I think that might be too. Let's. Yeah. Let's grab this. Yeah. I think that's good! She uses them to stomp grapes for blind. <laughs> I think that's good, actually, yeah. These shoes were made for stomping. I'm just thoroughly enjoying the killer bear. Murder. It's very, very... Arousing, I guess? Would be good more for it? No. Intoxicating. There we go. That is a pun for this, too, because grapes, wine. I 
just screams farmer, but in reality, her, her parents are very important. <laughs> At least for the main part. Oh my gosh. Woo! Hi, Yang Peace. What's up? Not much, Caboose. How are you? Hmm. This all looks very, very good. How do you like the bear? The bear good? As long as I hope the bear's good. Is the bear good? Looks cute. Thank you. I'm gonna add some little details every... You. Oh, jeez. Wait, what? Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. That was weird. That specifically crashed for some reason. Okay. At least it's saved, but even then, I'm concerned about it. Feeling these here. I do need to add the detail for the pause. So. Let's see how I can make these look cool. Decent brush for. Let's see. No. Um, I can just skip out on texture for now. Whatever, I'll just skip on here. So let's just rename that to Shadow. And then. Image. Uh, is it selection. Invert selection. Go to Shadow. Oh, that is good. Okay, I love that, actually. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude! Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Like, if I just move it up a bit more. Awesome! Okay, I like it. I like it a lot for the shadow. Gotta make sure 
make sure I don't look at that I am very much proud of how the bear is done like should I adjust it anymore or is that good as it is because I'm going to change the campus size. I'm going to make it extend out here instead. If I put it right there, that's. That's. Collection. Actually. Now, look at her. <laughs> I think the shadow might need a little adjustment, but how crazy did I go with it? Oh, no. Look. <laughs> oh, I might change the shadow coloration. Oh, oops. Oops. See, now you can pick her out with the silhouette. Look at that. You know it's her. Oh my god. That's so good. You can pick her out with the silhouette. That's so good. I think that, like, muted orange is just good. Look at that. That's really nice. I love it! I freaking love it! It's mostly the arms doing the work, but here's the thing. You can tell with the bow and the vest and the hair and the ears and the shoes. It's very much... <laughs> it's a little spooky, but okay. Hold <laughs> on. That looks ridiculously fun. <laughs> iPod. Like... There. Oh, don't you mean the hip bone? <laughs> the hip bone. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I love it. I love it. It's really nice. Um, I feel like I should make the shadow a different Like... Let's grab the paint bucket and then... Uh-oh. Yeah, it's doing that thing where you change the whole thing. No! Uh, selection... Convert selection. Does that hit everything? No, it doesn't. What? Well, well. I want to make it a different color, but it won't let me. Because the freaking paint bucket tool is weird. I might change the set. Uh, threshold? Maybe it's threshold? I think it was threshold. Okay. I think it was threshold. Okay. Brown doesn't work. I wanted to make it more warm. That kind of looks like those two. Not too. Ooh. That looks 
looks nice. A little bit more carroty. Ooh. See, this fits so well for Halloween, too. I like it. I like it a lot. As I stretch and enjoy myself. Ugh. Look at that. Bear. That's a bear, all right. That's a very nice bear. I'm happy. Happy with bear. Bear is nice. Bear is good. Bear is good. Very good bear. This is bear. Bear is good. <laughs> um... No shading, I'm not doing- well, I might do short shading. Like, for Zara, I didn't do a whole lot either. Like, I did a very, very minimal amount. And I might do a little. Right now, I'm just trying to make them in general. Like, is that a good orange, or should I go for... ...different orange? Because I'm trying to think, like, is it good? Idea? Maybe a bit darker? Well, maybe. If it's darker, she will pop up. Pop more skulls. I pop more skulls. Okay, let's try. Okay, yeah, she does pop a bit more, but mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. That looks a lot. I think it did need to be adjusted. Ah, oh, the bear. A good silhouette though. Oh my gosh, that is such a good silhouette. Just gonna deck you with giant claws, nothing else. Okay. Saving. Saving. Ha! Ah! That's good. That's real good. No, I don't want it. And let's just see the glory. Ah! Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Bear is good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just giggling at the entire fact that she's finally done! Oh. oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, people are excited to actually see the bear. <laughs> okay. I'm going to end it off here. I'll get someone in a bit. So, we're going to raid... I need to see their name. Oh, it's got an underscore, okay. We're gonna raid Shiro.
Because she's doing Halo, and I want to see Halo. I want to see Halo be done. And sadly, we'll have to put an end to that music for a bit. Thank you all for coming. Sherry is finally done. She's finally done. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. Let us raid. Raid the Shiro.